Yes, look, uh, thanks. Uh, it's, uh, I, hello. Um, I, I uh, hope you enjoy my, my uh, little comedy uh, doings. Um, I didn't know, you know, uh, how in Australia, in terms of, you know, swear words that it, but doesn't and isn't, but is and sort of indifferent. Um, in Australia, you know how uh, Fanny means, uh, uh, um, no, you know, it means in Australia, Fanny just means um, a female vagina. Um, <laughs> don't know why I said female vagina then. <laughs> As opposed to the male vagina that you buy online or something. I don't know anything about it. Um, but in Australia, you know, Fanny means a uh, female vagina. I <laughs> don't know why I'm doing that as well. But if you've, if you've got a female vagina, and the female vagina that you've got is doing that, you, you need to see a doctor, because that's crazy. Um, no, but my point is, you know how in Australia, um, Fanny, it just means, uh, or it doesn't just mean, uh, it means uh, female vagina. Well, in America, it just means bum. Did you know that? Yeah, well, I didn't know that. I, had, and I, I was actually in a cafe in New York, and I heard a woman at the next table going, uh, my Fanny is so huge. I got such a, such a fat fanny. <laughs> no, it's out of control, my fanny. It's, I got, it's enormous. I got such a huge, beast, enormous fat fanny. <laughs> so I, I said to Huey, I bought these new jeans. I said, Huey, my fanny, it looks huge in these jeans. And it's taken over the room, my fanny. <laughs> he didn't know what to say, and I'm <laughs> not surprised. <laughs> um, no, she went, <laughs> I've got to hit the gym. I've got to hit the gym and work on my fat fanny. And the mind just boggled. What kind of equipment? <laughs> I was seeing weights with cables and pulleys going down to bulldog clips in intense concentration. <laughs> with, um, some, can you move it? I don't even know if you can move it. I don't know anything about it. I don't know. Sorry, that's all getting, it's gone a bit mental with the, I was gonna, um, mental, are you, I'm not even sure if you're allowed to say mental. It's considered a bit un PC to say mental. Now, I think you've meant to say it's gone a bit um, psychologically or something. I'm not. No, I don't know. With, hey, you know what? You know what I find? No, just. Or. No, because when doesn't. Have you. And that? With all of because and doesn't you? No, the thing that I've. Something I noticed is, you know, there's a. Uh, they have the, the Paralympics for people with uh, physical disabilities. Well, why, they, why don't they have a psychological Olympics? <laughs> no, for people with mental disabilities. Why do we miss out? <laughs> no, it's wrong. No, because it could be good. You could have the 100 metres panic attack. Bang! <laughs> Suicidal javelin. <laughs> um, you could have a uh, bipolar marathon. I love to run, but I'm never going to finish. But if I do, I might win. But ultimately, it's meaningless anyway. <laughs> that would... You could have passive aggressive boxing. Two massive guys on either side of the ring just ignoring the absolute shit out of each other. <laughs> that could be good. Uh, neurotic shot put. That's filthy! Get the filthy filth! Um, you could have. Um, oh, you could have uh, gymnastics for the depressed, rhythmic gymnastics. For the, wouldn't it be great to see a beautiful young woman in a leotard with one of those ribbons on a stick just going? Uh, pentathlon for attention deficit disorder. I'm going to do a big jump. Hey, that's a discus. Let's run over to that pole vault. Let's hurdle them. Um, or you could, uh, oh, you could have the, the 25 kilometer walk. You don't have to change anything about that to make it mental. <laughs> just, just introduce the mental Olympics and slide it across.